Okay guys, so I'm back on location. We came to this set this morning. Oh, there goes a rat. We came to this set this morning. And I don't know if you can see it. Right there's a coyote track. Okay, the wind. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can tell by the bushes. The wind is blowing toward the trap. We've been having a north wind all week. Now this right here is what I was trying to explain about the flat sets with the attractor. This coyote, the coyote that came to this set came from that direction. That is the same direction where whenever I videoed part three the other day, that's where I heard and saw the three coyotes down here around the corner of these woods. So I'm only assuming that the coyote came here, he saw the attractor, and he came and worked the set after he saw the attractor. Now, I kind of scratched over my trap this morning. The toenail of his left paw went up under my pan, and this track right here was, on, was actually on the jaw of the trap. So I just barely, barely missed this coyote. You can see up under the rock, maybe, where he actually licked the lower off of the sheep's wool, but there's still some lower there. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put a dirt hole in. Now I know everybody's thinking, man, he sure is around this sets a lot. Yeah, I am. But uh, once again, I, I just, this whole scent thing is just, I'm going to set out to disprove it one way or the other. Right here where this, uh, that big green clump of grass is, any, any coyote comes up this side of the ditch bank here, or this side of the ditch bank, he's got to go through here. North, south, east, or west wind, he will smell this set right here. So check this out. I've been pulling traps. Um, I was holding all my traps with my left hand with my rubber glove on, the ones that weren't, that hadn't caught anything because I'm not gonna re-dye and re-wax those traps. I'm just gonna reuse them. I don't, I don't believe you have to rework your traps just because they were stayed in the ground and they stayed there and you didn't catch anything. I believe you can, you can try to reuse them. So what I'm gonna do, well, let me go back to that. I was using a, one rubber glove on my left hand and using my drill with my right hand to pull all of my earth anchors out of my traps. So what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna take one of these traps that I pulled. You can see it right here, there's my hammer, my uh, earth anchor driver. I'm gonna get at the base of this clump of grass right here and I'm gonna set a dirt hole set. Now, the funny thing about this set is that I'm going to do it barehanded. Now, why am I going to do it barehanded? I'm not trying to disprove. I'm not trying to disprove anybody on anything this time. I lost one of my gloves, so I can't set the trap with rubber with a rubber glove on each hand because I only have one glove. So I'm going to do a little experiment, and I'm going to put a dirt hole in right here barehanded and I'm going to video it so everybody can see and uh, since we have coyotes coming through here we should get a visit sometime in the near future I'm going to leave these sets here for oh maybe three or four more days because the coyotes are still coming through and we're going to see what happens on a barehanded set and I'm going to try to prop my phone up so everybody can see me make this set I don't know I'm gonna have to turn the camera. Up. And I don't know if everybody can see it. I'm just gonna let me. Yeah, there you go. Gonzo, this one's for you, buddy. Guys, if you do not have a drill with an auger yet, take my advice. <laughs> 
You need one. Now, I am sitting by a ditch, so there is, and there I go already using bare hands. Um, I am sitting by this ditch, so there is a possibility that I can catch a, a raccoon. But uh, we're gonna try to get it just right for old coyote. Everybody see just how old Kevin does a dirt hole sit. Don't laugh at myself for I throw my old one away so I had to go buy a colander from Family Dollar. So we're gonna we're gonna seriously try to disprove all of this here uh, scent stuff right here this week. I still have a bum left knee. So I can't get on my left knee. Dig this out just a little bit more for my chain. Be right back. I have to go get some uh, polyfill sheep wool in my bait. Okay guys, so check this here out. I left my polyfill and my sheep wool at home. So I have to use some old polyfill from an old trap. So we're just really gonna nasty this set up. MB550s with the night latch. Here's my pan click. And uh, boy, we're really gonna mess this set up. I hope I don't get my fingers caught in the trap. That might sting a little bit. Just to let you guys know, a colander sifter isn't worth five cents, so don't, don't even uh, think about buying one. I drilled holes in the bottom of this one. And it still doesn't work all that great. I hope you guys can hear me. I 
because my speaker's on the bottom. Let everybody see approximately how much bait I put in the hole. Uh, three tablespoons, maybe. I'll take and wipe a little bit right there in the bottom of the hole. Matter of fact, I'll just. Uh, Old piece of polyfill. I don't have any sheep's wool, so I'm just going to use the old piece of polyfill. It's in my bucket over there. Okay. Take a little bit of coyote urine. I have uh, Cox Brothers coyote urine. I've tried a bunch of different urines so far. This is the best commercial urine I've tried. I'm just going to take and squirt some of that on the back. Of Okay guys, if that doesn't go against all odds, I don't know what does. Bare handed, dirt on my hands, lure on my hands, bait. Uh, I'll give you kind of an idea of what the, the scent looks like. It's actually a right decent looking scent. It's kind of a Semi step down, I guess. Traps better, really good. But uh, that clump of weed right there was back over here somewhere whenever I first started. And I just took it and set it on the side right there, maybe to uh, discourage the coyote from coming there. <laughs> if he even comes, I don't know. 
but uh, we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. Defying all the odds. So, thanks for watching. Wish me good luck.